So we're here again with the BO Play H100 and this time we're going to talk about the improvements on the app. This is how to set up your BO Play H100 using the app. Uh, the quick access buttons, the Dolby Atmos, the spatial audio and of course how to customise your buttons which is a new feature on the BO Play H100 utilising the app. So let's get straight into it then. So the first thing you should really look at is the dynamic tutorial and faster setup process. Obviously you've just got your new headphones and we're going to set them up for the first time and it will give you all the features that you need to know about your new product. Um, the app's there to give you software updates and improvements over time. It'll give you interactions and gestures and you've got a lot of access to the settings and controls of your new BO Play H100 and you can customise those which is really cool. So, with your new Bluetooth pairing process and background software updates, it now just takes eight seconds to complete the setup, which is significantly faster than the predecessor, the H95. Instead of getting the standard three year guarantee, if you register your warranty through the app, Bang & Olufsen will give you another two years guarantee on this item. The new BO Play H100, they of course support high-res audio and you can use high-res audio certainly through the collaboration with Tidal uh, that Bang & Olufsen have signed up with, which is great. If you are a Tidal subscriber, there is a playlist called Immersive if you want to try that, which has been curated by the people at Tidal to celebrate this collaboration with Bang & Olufsen. The high-res audio means that you can get up to 96 kilohertz, but you do need to use the USB-C cable supplied to get to this level of audio. Spatial audio settings, this is my favourite feature of this new headphones. With a state-of-the-art spatial audio processor and head tracking, we will introduce a dedicated control tile on the product screen to access spatial settings with three modes. You've got off, which of course is off. Um, Virtualize, used to spatialize normal two-channel stereo. And immersive, intended for Dolby Atmos content only. So there are three spatial audio settings. The user also has the option to turn on the head tracking feature, which can further enhance the spatial experience in virtualized and immersive modes. Settings and controls. So customized controls. Users, yourself again, can personalize their headphone experience by customizing the different interactions of the headset. Touch areas, dials and buttons. Auto on and off setting where the headphones automatically power them on and remove them to power them off. Additional power off setting after a preset time is also available. Choose custom settings specifically for calls including world volume, active noise cancellation and spatial audio. But the big one for me is customised buttons. The customised buttons allow you to literally tell the device that you want to stop, play, skip forward, rewind. Volume up and down can be a different control button. It's really good. Change it how you want it to be rather than how the manufacturer wants it to be. So within the app, you have background software updates. These will give you improvements over time and release notes for these improvements will be broadcast to you via the app. When you open the app, it automatically checks every time for software updates. And if your products are connected to the app, it will give it an update and it will start downloading in the background. You can still use your H100 headset whilst the app is being updated. Once the app is completed, you just need to turn the unit off and back on again for it to be accepted.